The law of conservation of energy is an underlying principle in physics that states that energy cannot be created or destroyed. This theory has undergone considerable testing and verification through multiple experimental observations and is based on empirical observations. Let's examine the rule of conservation of energy and consider its ramifications to learn why energy cannot be created or destroyed. The first law of thermodynamics, which stipulates that energy is a conserved quantity in a closed system, is where the law of conservation of energy originates. A place or item that does not interchange matter, or energy, with its surroundings, is referred to as a closed system. The overall amount of energy in such a closed system stays constant over time. The several types of energy that exist can be used to explain the concept of conservation of energy. Kinetic energy, which is the energy of motion, potential energy, which is the energy held in an object as a result of its location or configuration, thermal energy, which is the energy of heat, chemical energy, electrical energy, and many other forms of energy, are just a few examples. The overall amount of energy in a closed system doesn't change even when these types of energy can be transferred from one into another. The total energy, before and after the conversion, stays constant when energy is changed from one form to another. For instance, when a ball is dropped from a height, the ball loses potential energy as it falls. That's because, the higher the ball, the more falling distance the ball has, which is its greater potential energy. As the ball falls, its distance to the bottom continually becomes shorter, therefore losing its potential energy as it descends. But this loss of potential energy is perfectly offset by an increase in kinetic energy or movement energy as the ball continues. The ball's total energy, kinetic energy, plus potential energy, however, is constant throughout its fall. Think about the straightforward example of burning a piece of wood. Chemical energy is released during the burning of the wood in the form of heat and light. The thermal and radiant energy of the system, which includes the wood, the surrounding air, and the heat and light released, remains constant despite the chemical energy held in the wood being transformed into thermal and radiant energy. The idea that energy is never created nor destroyed but merely transforms from one form to another, is demonstrated by these examples. Energy conservation serves as a common summary of this idea. The idea of the conservation of mass energy, which derives from Einstein's theory of relativity, is closely tied to the law of conservation of energy. This theory holds that mass and energy can be thought of as interchangeable expressions of the same underlying entity. This resulted in the development of the famous equation E equals mc squared, where E stands for energy, m for mass, and c for the speed of light. The mass-energy ratio in a closed system remains constant. However, this equation shows that even mass can be changed into energy, and vice versa. In conclusion, the law of conservation of energy states that energy cannot be created or destroyed. Although energy can change its physical form, the overall amount in a closed system is constant. In physics, this principle has undergone significant testing and confirmation through research.